Right everyone, what is going on? So today is a bit of a different environment. We are in my kitchen. I'm going to show you what I have for breakfast. I thought I'd do it a little bit different today, but we are heading off to the gym today. We are going to be doing some incline chest, some flat chest and whatever, whatever. I'll leave you in on the secret later on. But the work, gym workout is going to be in this video. So if you want to skip forward to that video, you can go ahead if you want. Um, or you can just stay and watch the full video like a normal person anyway so uh today what i'm going to be showing you is how to make oats and i know i've shown you this uh, a lot of people on my snapchat and instagram have seen this already it's a regular thing i have it every day and i'm going to tell you how not to get bored of having the same oats every other day kind of thing so with me i like to put a lot of different things in so i think we're going to probably put about three or four things in today to my oats um i'll just testing out yesterday seeing how it tastes and it actually tastes quite nice to be honest so i'm going to show you what i have for breakfast oats and coffee i make my coffee with a little bit of a twist trust me you're gonna love it and uh, then i'm going to show you what i have for lunch and then we're going to head off to the gym smash some uh, sm smash smash some chest out and uh yeah that's going to be concluding the video um but if you guys have any questions on what else you can pour into the coffee or what else you can pour into the uh, oats and stuff like that, feel free to message me or even comment down below. Um, my Instagram and Snapchat will be here. So Instagram and then Snapchat. Um, yeah. Any questions, DM me on my Snapchat or Instagram. So stay tuned for what I have next. The next time I see you, I will be eating my oats, enjoying my oats, and I shall see you in probably about five minutes. So these are the things that you'll need to make the perfect oats. You need a bowl. I tend to use a bit of a deeper bowl cause I can get more in. And then for the toppings, we have uh, pumpkin seeds, chopped apricots and milled omega seed mix. So what have we got here? We've got milled linseed with goji berries, sunflower and pumpkin seeds. They're gonna be like the toppings for it. And then for the flavour, we've gone for hazelnut white chocolate spread, which I got from Morrison's, shower Morrison's. And then some semi-skimmed uh, milk, milk. So that's all you need to make oats. You know what? I just forgot the main thing of the actual ingredients, oats. So this is like a 30 gram uh, protein scoop that I just thought I'd use. So I have about two of them. One, two. So you want to fill the uh, the milk just until it's like right at the top of the oats. So you don't want it too much. You don't want it too less. For me, that's the perfect amount. So once that is out, uh, just take about that much, that much of uh, white chocolate spread, and then you can just dip it in. Once you dip it in, it'll start to melt automatically. Just keep stirring, keep stirring, keep stirring until it's all uh, melted into the oats. And then first what we put on is the pumpkin seeds. So not much. I kinda have a rough estimate of how much I need to put in now anyway, so get some chopped apricots. I was uh I was having uh, chopped dates the other day but they were out. So obviously with the coronavirus, you know, people are kind of stealing everything, taking a lot of things. So that's the chopped apricots. Close that, right there. And then the milled omega seed mix. So with this, what I tend to do is get a teaspoon. So get a teaspoon 
and put about two two of them in. So I'll just spread that across. Two of them. It just adds more vitamins, more minerals, more fibers. <laughs> There we have oats, semi skimmed milk, two scoops of 30 gram, so 60 gram of oats. We've got semi skimmed milk, we've got milled omega seed mix, we have the chopped apricots, and then we've got the pumpkin seeds with the white chocolate hazelnut spread. So that is going to be my breakfast for now and then I'm going to show you how to make the coffee as well. It's a really quick thing. Uh, let me quickly show you how to do that as well. And then I'm going to have my lunch and head off straight to the gym. So what we have here is the Starbucks Cafe Verona Dark Roast. I like, I don't really used to like coffee at first, but once I start having it, it's actually quite nice. So that's the Dark Roast that we're having. That's called the French Press. So I'm going to be putting the coffee into that. And then this little bad boy is the special ingredients. This is cinnamon. Now cinnamon, my uncle told me a few days ago that just put a little bit of this in and it'll give you such a bad taste. And I tasted it and oh god damn, it is crazy. So first, what we start off with is, let's take that out. One. Two teaspoons of coffee. So I know I know exactly how much I need to have. So mine for my cup is about there. So just a little bit of cinnamon, yeah. So we're gonna let that rest for about four to five minutes. I'm gonna enjoy it. Have it. Have my lunch. And head off to the gym for a chest session. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, hit some incline chest, like I was saying in the other video. Just come to the gym, we're gonna be doing chest, like I was saying, we're gonna do incline chest. We're gonna start off on some flat bench first, on dumbbell, uh, on barbell, and then we're gonna head off to do some incline chest. You're probably gonna see me do 40 kg today, I don't know, depending on how I feel. But uh, first I'm just going to do a quick warm up, so I'm just going to do some pull ups, stretch out my shoulders, stretch out my triceps, some biceps kind of thing, stretch out my, my lats, so I can get that really good squeeze at the end when I'm doing my uh, chest workouts and I'm going to do some shoulder um, rotator cuff workouts, warm ups, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're just doing this, um, just to stretch out the rotator cuff, warm me up a little bit. Um, that's pretty much what it is, because whenever you're doing chest, obviously you want to make sure your shoulders are loose, your triceps, your biceps are loose, they're not as tight. Uh, so with this, what we're doing, we're just trying to keep the elbow a little bit in, and try to get squeezy as much as you can out. Not too heavy, like right now, it's not even on any waist on the first one kind of thing. down on and with this trying to keep the elbow 
elbow up in line with your in line with your shoulder. So like, uh, let me show you on this side. So in line with your shoulder, you just doing that. See, the thing is, when people make videos, not even just me, any other bodybuilder, any other uh, fitness athlete out there, whenever they show you show you an exercise, you've got to make sure that you focus on it properly and look at it properly, see what they're doing. Because a lot, I see a lot of people when they come to the gym and they do the exact same thing that I'm doing, but they'll do it so wrong. They're going to end up causing an injury. They're going to end up doing something else to the body and it's not, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be worse. So, So you've done you've done a few sets, a couple of sets. You did a warm-up set with 10 kg at the side. Now we've pushed up to 20. Now we pushed on to we've got 20 and a 10 plate. I don't want to go too heavy on it, even though I can. Um, I don't want to go too heavy on it. The only reason why is because I'm going to do a bit heavy on dumbbells today. I'm feeling a lot of dumbbells. I want to get that. I want to get a lot of that contra contraction in. I want to get a lot of that squeeze in today. So I'm going to try using dumbbells. Uh, hopefully go up to about 40. Well, this bar is well smaller. Dumbbells now, we're done flat. Not gonna mess about with weight. I wanna try keeping it heavy, keep the tension on. I'm gonna go for 30s first, straight away from my first set, and head over to about, probably about 40 kg today. Head over to 40 kg. If I feel good, they might go heavier. If not, then I might just come, come back down and get some drop sets in. Yeah, so let's get it. This is bread and butter for me, look. So whenever I'm doing heavyweight, I have a certain way of doing it. Even these don't know when I'm ready. Let's go! So, we finished on the dumbbells, finished on the flat bench. I was thinking of doing cables, you know, but I don't know. This one's a bit different. It's the same one as like, you know, the pec fly machines that you do. 
exactly the same as that, but with this, I don't know. It's an unorthodox one. So with this, so we're going to focus on the upper chest. So with this, the lower you put, the lower you put your arms, the more lower, lower chest you do. The higher you put it, you can see the higher, the, the more incline you're doing. Let me put this. It's on the last one. light but next sets will go up. This is going to be a bit of a variation for the last one. You've done three, three sets of single arm. Just finishing it off with this. So with this, you don't want to sit down on it. Stand up from it like that. Leave a bit of a gap. You basically want to sit down with the back of your, back of your legs kind of thing. Like sit down on this bit here. Ugh. 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 Ending this with the big press ups, incline press ups. You can do it either on a Smith's machine, on a bench, but I can't be on screen downstairs. So, the whole point of doing press ups, in, especially whatever press ups, you're doing body weight. So, the more body weight you do, that's how you know how strong you actually are. Weights and all that. It's all fun and games. When you can do body weight, that's when you know how strong you really are. Pull ups, press ups, dips, all that kind of thing, where you're lifting yourself instead of lifting weight. But a few people ask me, even the people who I train with, Amadila, Rane, Boge, and Fatsal, body weight is the most important thing to do. If you can do body weight, you can do, you're, you'll be. It's kind of like a head start for when you're doing weights. Um, but like myself, I probably weigh about 75, I think, isn't it? about 75 kg, I reckon. 75 kg, and I know I can like lift myself up. I can do press ups, I can do pull ups. That's why I'm trying to get these boys to do it as well, so they know how strong they really are. Lifting 30 kg dumbbells and 40 kg dumbbells is good, but if you can't lift yourself up, you're gonna be looking like a bit of a sal in it. We have a fat sal. We uh, shout out to fat sal by the way, he's grafting. Well, he stopped, hasn't he? Yeah, you can get back in the gym after this corona shit. 
Um, probably last for about a couple of months, so Salou will see in about a couple of months. <laughs> yes, yes. So we just finished from the gym. Oh shit, sounds weird. Finished from the gym. Uh, finished a good, it was a good chest session. Solid, solid chest session. Uh, finished off with some press ups. So what did we do today? We did flat. We did incline dumbbells. We did uh, cable. We, no, we didn't do cable. We did that fly machine, that weird one. And then we came upstairs, did single, with double, and then we did uh, some press ups. That was today's chest session. Screenshot it. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. The breakfast in the morning, if you have any questions about that as well, make sure you uh, message me if you have any questions. Uh, what else you can put in it. Uh, do you want to put honey in it or do you want to put any other stuff in it, whatever. Or even if you want to ask me what, uh, how can I say, how many calories were in the one that I had in the morning or what's the benefit of this, what's the benefit of that, whatever you want to ask me. Go ahead, message me on my Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick little vlog, hopefully, hopefully what I'm planning to do, I might as well tell you now as well. Every week, like I was saying on Instagram as well, I don't know if you've seen the recent post when we went to Ibis. Uh, every week, me and a few of my friends have decided to head out to different food places, whether that's, if, I've, if I haven't tried it or someone else hasn't tried it, we're going to go out, check it out, see how it is. So the week before was Lucky's in Oldham, this week was Ibis. Uh, and this week, uh, no, it was last week, wasn't it? It was on, what day was it? Saturday, I think we went. Was it Saturday? It was on the weekend anyway, we went on the weekend. So this week, I don't know where we're going. We might be going Bradford again. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on where to, where should we eat. Uh, message me on Instagram or Snapchat and I'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. We'll sort something out. But anyway, every week there's going to be one of these gym videos. Holy shit. Yes, yes, cuz. Rats. Cuz I watch is a rat there be. Cuz it gone. Nah, I legged it down there. Yeah, anyway, every week there's going to be a gym video. And every day, every week there's going to be a food video as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Message me on my Instagram, Snapchat. Make sure you're following me as well. And I shall see you on uh, the next video.